So I would like to introduce myself. So uh, for the last like 10, 10 plus years, I'm professionally working on IT industry, mostly coding on C++, but also on other languages. And I think my very first program was for 8-bit uh, Commodore 64 uh, PC back in the 90s of the last century. So I would like today to share a little bit of knowledge about the C++ and what's there, what's not, and all one of the uh, gems that was hidden in the C++ for maybe 20 years. So let's go. I will give you a few hints to what it is. It's a pointer, so everyone knows the pointers. It exists for a long, long time. As I said, it's around 20 years and it isn't included in the standard library for some reason. But if you know the history, the, that all the pointers in the modern C++ standard library have roots somewhere in the boost library that is developing outside of the standard library, but shares a lot of them. So what we know about the STL pointer types, mostly about the smart pointers that everyone knows. So there was an auto pointer got deprecated long time ago. There is unique pointer, share it and weak pointer and recently added an atomic shared pointer. And let's see what the boost pointers types are. They, there is auto pointer that also got deprecated, unique pointer, shared weak pointer, and one another pointer that is called intrusive pointer. So I would like to a little bit uh, talk about why the difference. Uh, so if you know all the smart pointers in the standard library are not intrusive. So what they do, they um, allocate the control block somewhere around the object or in a really random place outside the object. It's well, it's convenient because we have abstractions and don't really care uh, where it's located. But on the other side, uh, we don't really know what the real object size is. So what the pros uh, so of intrusive pointer, it's similarly, uh, counted pointer, just like shared pattern. Control block is part of the object. It's very similar uh, in the memory to the make shared, uh, but you can do it with just a simple new. Uh, size of the object is exactly how much memory is required. So you don't have to take into account the size of the shared pointer control block at all. And you can do a shared from this directly from the constructor. Well, the cons are that we must inherit from intrusive pointer reference counter class. Well, that is why that it's improved intrusive yeah? and the <sighs> double asterisk doesn't really work properly with it but anyway 
there are a few implementations, not just the boost uh, intrusive pointer, but also a few others. So there is a P0468 um, uh, implementation. It's called retained PTR. Uh, it fixes shortcomings of a 20 year plus old boost intrusive pointer will be included in the C23, well, probably, along with its sister uh, type out pointer. There is also two other implementations intrusive shared pointer. It's quite an alternative to the boost intrusive pointer and retained pointer, but it's a little bit different. And there is also one other um, <sighs> for uh, application for the C++ STL that is also called intrusive pointer. And as you can see all the links, and I like to demo each of them and explain how they work. So this one is our simple boost intrusive pointer. As we see, we must add this really ugly stuff to our class to make it um, an intrusive pointer so that we can use it with intrusive pointer. Also, we cannot do a weak pointer from it. Probably that's one of the reasons it wasn't included in uh, C++ standard library from the start. You can demo it if you like. So here we know that the, the object got uh, freed up when we exited this block. And if we do this, we'll know that our pointer got copied or moved. And uh, let's try to look into the retain pointer. Retain pointer is a really cool idea. So we have this reference counting base classes. There is an atomic reference counter and a normal one that's not atomic. And we just inherit from this class, basically. Oh, yeah. So we just inherit from this class and we can work just like with an intrusive pointer. We can uh, just make a new one. Doesn't matter whatever we make it through uh, make retained pointer or just retained pointer and a new. And we can also behave similarly to the shared pointer. Nothing big, but we don't have uh, weak pointers here. And uh, let's try the other two. Yeah, shall we? So the third one is intrusive shared pointer. It's not a candidate for the C++ standard li library, but what it does, it implements the weak reference. So, but we have to inherit from a reference counted or weak reference counted. So if we don't inherit from weak reference counted, we won't have weak pointers to this class. 
We can do same reference counter attach to any objects. We can just move around with a simple pointer and then convert it to a reference counted pointer anytime we want. We can make a reference counted object just like uh, we do with shared pointers and we can move it around. Same goes for the weak pointer. It has the same way of doing things like with shared weak pointers. But the counting and the control block is located within our class. So we know that the size of this class is a fixed size and we can just make a pool of these objects without too much hassle. And the first one is another candidate. So it's just called intrusive pointer. It has very similar to the retained pointer implementation, but uh, we have already a weak pointer support from, from the get-go. It's called intrusive pointer and weak pointer, and just like we have the shared and the weak counterparts of it. Uh, well, mm, that's basically it. Do you have any questions? Thank you for your presentation. And as usual, it's interesting. What were your, in your uh, experience, your personal practice use cases for such examples? Uh, so uh, you see, uh, for example, if we, work with uh, com objects like com plus objects or we are working with for example on the mac with uh, some objects from a totally different library we have to um, somehow work with objects and have uh, the life control of them it's done, we are, or just, for example, export our object to such libraries. We have to keep these objects in memory for their lifetime and have to control this lifetime. And this approach with intrusive pointer is really good because we know exactly the size of the object and we can share it no matter what and convert it from the row pointer to intrusive back and forth without problems. Like you can't, you can't for example, create uh, the same shared pointer from the row pointer. Yeah, but with intrusive you can. Thank you. Any more? No more questions. Well, then, thank you.